Welcome to uh, Cash From Scratch episode eight. This video won't be nearly as long as the previous one. That one was really bad. <laughs> um, so today we're gonna talk about updating the draw function to handle our new data structures. So that should be pretty, pretty simple. So um, we really have to do primarily, w w let me show you what we're trying to do here. Um, in our, our old draw, C file we had this draw routine. I want to copy this and make it not have to have as, as inputs uh, num nodes, num triangles, and then arrays for numbers and number of nodes and the triangles. So uh, the plan first would be to to find some new functions in geom.c that will be useful for other things in uh, in this in this software. So a few things we have to do. I want to have a a uh, count nodes function and also a count basis function and this will hopefully um, be enough to give us our num nodes and num triangles for the the new draw routine so we'll pass in as inputs just the body we're just going to pass in as, as a as a body to count the nodes so what will we do? I guess we say struct node. We'll iterate through the, the nodes. We'll set a counter. We'll make a simple loop. I guess we'll just say while, while the, the node is not null. Uh, we'll increase our counter and we'll say iter equals iter next and then we will return the num that should be pretty much it for this, this function here i want to copy this though and also have count faces which will be a similar function just instead of having a node it will be a, a face everything else i think you can keep the same we did a pretty good job making this modular. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to create a function just for our test case. Um, I want to be able to make a body from a face. And we're going to pass in a face. Oops. And the reason for that is because if you recall yesterday in the previous video, we had this make polygon face function that we use as a test case for our triangulation. It returns a face. I want to be able to return an actual body from a given face. So just to you know make that simpler, I'll make a function for that. It's not going to be very challenging. We're just going to uh, define a body, and we're going to pass in faces and nodes from that from that uh, input parameter face. So we'll say how do we do this? We do struct body then we should say body face so the first face is going to point to the input face then the first node is going to point to the face node array zero and then we're going to return the body so super super simple Basically, we're just going to, you know, take the face and the node array from the face and put that into a body and return it. So that's, honestly, that's it. I'm gonna put this, these uh, declarations in the header file. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I put in these declarations and now we're done with all the geometry type stuff, I imagine. So we'll close out of those. Now I want to, in the draw.h, I wanna make a new function I want to keep the old one just for nostalgia's sake, but then I want to um, make a draw body function with the same parameters except for the last four of these, instead of having all those weird things, I just want to pass in a struct body pointer. That's the plan. So I'm done with this one. Now in our draw.c, I want to copy and just you know replicate this entire draw routine Again. 
and call it draw body. Just a couple small changes here, nothing too massive. So what do we have to do? Well, if you recall, um, the biggest thing was, you know, since we're passing in like a set of, you know, nodes and triangles, we had to convert that into a, like a one-dimensional array for our OpenGL calls right here, and uh, that was done, you know, pretty, you know, peculiarly. <laughs> it's not exactly that, you know, very elegant. So I want to make this so we can just simply pass in a. A, a, a body structure and take that and do it. sorry my cat's having a, a seizure so we're just gonna ignore that anyway I want to replace these lines here with uh, something new and improved so what's the plan well we can use our functions we just made to identify the number of nodes and the number of faces so it, it, it was just count nodes body and then number of faces was count faces body Then we will have to define these um, these things here again. But the, the vertices array will be uh, size three dumb nodes, and then the indices will be obviously num uh, num faces. We're going to assume that everything passed in here is going to be a triangle. Uh, if not, we'll pass some some uh, some error handling back. Uh, but right now, um, we'll have to define a couple new variables for the algorithm I was I was thinking of implementing. Well, first we're going to need some um, some some iterators here. So we need a face iterator. We'll, we'll just define that right now as body face, and then a node iterator to to go through. Leave that as null for the time being. And also, um, we're going to loop through. We're going to actually go through and increment the index for these two arrays manually uh, as we go. So I'm just going to you know, define them up front, k and l. So what's the plan here? The plan will be to let's just say pseudocode here is a loop over the faces in the body to populate the index array, or indices array. I should call it indices vector, to be honest. Then in that loop, um, if the face is a triangle, we, we, we go on. If not, we'll pass some error. I hate error handling, but we're just going to print something out, print error. Then uh, we'll loop over all the points in the face. And then uh, we'll loop through the nodes in the body and, until we have the ID of that given node. Basically, we're just trying to figure out which IDs in our in our data structure for the the body for each node correspond with the nodes on the face, and write that in the in the vector. So nothing too complicated. I'm going to write up this off off recording and get back to you in a minute or two. Okay, so here's that function. Basically, like I said, we will loop over all the faces in the body. Um, then if the face is a triangle, we will, you know, it has three nodes in the, on the face, we'll loop over all the points, so zero, one, and two. Um, then we're gonna loop through the nodes in the body until the node in the body that we're iterating through matches the node in the array. And when the two match, we know that the triangle is including the correct node index, and we'll just store that in the indices uh, vector, and then break out of the loop and complete the you know, complete the loop here with these two iterators. And then, uh, in case we don't have have three nodes, like we have four nodes or five or six, um, then we'll print this error: "Oops, non-triangular face in draw body." I'm not gonna, you know, you know return some kind of weird error and you know just end the program I'm, I'm sure it won't actually break anything I'm just, I'm just gonna give you a bogus um, drawing so there's no reason to you know break everything for no reason at this point we've got the indices vector completed we still have to get this uh, vertices vector the actual coordinates of each of the nodes 
So to do that, it's very simple. We're just going to take those values straight from the, um, the node list for the body. So we already have that sort of existing in our structure. We need to just convert it to a single uh, one-dimensional float vector. To do that, we'll use our iterator node thing. Um, and we will loop through. So we'll say while iter node does not equal null. We'll, we'll just um, constantly index this uh, vertex vector um, at a different location with this L plus plus because L starts at zero, but we're going to you know increase that every time we go through. And we'll set that to iter node, oops, node x. And then the next two are going to be y and z. And then lastly, very simple, we're just going to iterate our variable here. Oops, this is bad. Next, that should be that. Um, we can, I think, kill all our old stuff for that. I'm not sure if we have to go back and um, change any of these like values. Like, I'm not sure we reference any of those those uh, those variables anywhere else in the program. I'll take a look and, and I'll see. There has to be something somewhere, like num triangles or something. Let me just see. Num triangles. Yeah, right here. So this should be num faces. Is this the right function? Hold on. Yeah, that's the right function. Make that say num faces. And I think we're pretty much done with. Um, if assuming this works, it may not even work. If, if it works, we're done with this uh, file. The last file here is the main file. So in this case, I I want to stop printing out this all all this garbage, um, just for the sample that we're making today. Um, we will get rid of that. What else will we do? Face make polygon. So we'll say, come on. Struct body hexagon equals, and we'll use our make body from face function that we just created. And we'll get rid of this thing and this thing. We'll change this to triangulate body because we made it a body. Oops. And now we can call our, our draw routine. Now the draw routine requires some stuff. It requires a look at size three and a look from size three. Uh, I'm just gonna put some random numbers here. I don't really know what's going on. We're gonna do, we'll look at one, one, zero. That seems to be pretty much in the center and uh, we'll look from far away. I don't know, zero, zero, 10 or five, what do you think? And then we'll just simply call our draw body function. Draw body, um, I think we had 800, 800 as our previous window size. And then I'm pretty sure it's look at, then look from, and then our actual body. So we'll try the prism first. And then we'll do the same thing. I'll comment it out for now, but we'll try it on the hexagon as well. Let's see if this compiles. It probably won't. What did I do wrong this time? Oh num faces all right i'll go back and check where this is this is in our uh, draw.c i did a typo over there i'll be right back okay I, I fixed those problems just a couple typos and i had my includes in the wrong order so no 
no worries, everything is fixed. Yeah, so if I run the function, I run the code, I should say, here is our prism. So you can see it, it works. We have all our triangles on the screen. Everything is correct as you would expect. Now let's see if our Our other test case works. This should give us that weird looking uh, hexagon thing from yesterday in the previous video. Yeah, so you can see our weird looking thing. It was like this, if you recall. So yeah, it, it's pretty much spot on what I would expect. So yeah, that's it for this video. Next video we will, I'm not sure, I guess I'll figure it out. Probably we're gonna update our, uh, our export functions to handle our new data structures. Anyway, thanks for watching.